Look at that tree. Wow, I love checking out Christmas trees. Look at that. It's huge. Huge. Hi guys, um, day four. Uh, first thing I'm going to do after everything, so I've dropped the kids off, I've done my hair, cleaned the, I've tidied up the house, not necessarily cleaned it, but I'm gonna make uh, some yogurt in the instant pot. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through how I do that. Cause I really like instant pot yogurt because you know, you've made it yourself, so you're absolutely sure that there aren't any unnecessary additives. Um, so if you didn't know, yogurt is technically speaking not cooked, it's incubated. And to start it off, you can use any high good quality uh, non-sweetened yogurt. So that's why I use the Greek style natural uh, yogurt. If you try and use the sweetened stuff, it, it doesn't end up. Um, so basically, I started making my own yogurt because a few years ago, I quit. I went through the I quit sugar thingy where I basically cut out sugar. And through learning about nutrition and sugar, I, actually, I realized how much added sugar was added to a lot of things that were healthy for kids. And so we used to buy them these uh, yogurts. And so we stopped buying those and we moved over to natural yogurt. And guess what? The kids loved the natural yogurt. Um, and all of them love it. And they add it to their porridge or their Weetabix. But it adds up when you've got five kids. So when I got the Instapot and I found out that you could actually make your own yogurt, I've been making my own yogurt um, ever since. So I'll show you how I do that. So first step is to sterilize um, the inner bowl. And I sterilize that by just running it under boiling water. So, oh, yeah. You just want to make sure that it's sterile. So then the next thing is to add the milk to your steri um to your sterilized Instapot um in a so I just use this UHT full fat milk and I use two of them. So I make two liters of yogurt in a go and that would normally last us about two weeks. I'm just going to add all of that. So some people like to use the low fat yogurt, uh, the low fat milk, but I don't think that makes really nice yogurt plus I'm keto anyway, so I tend to favor high fat stuff. So I'll put the second one in. So this is about a gallon. Yeah, it's about one gallon of milk. All right. And the first step with the Instaport, I like to get it all out. Just hold that down and close it. So my Instapot has got the yogurt button. So I just press my yogurt button. Okay, and then you press adjust and boil. Because the first step is that it has to, I think it's a pasteurization process. So it has to do the boiling and it will start boiling and then it will beep when it's ready for the next stage. So we're just gonna leave that. All right, so while my yogurt is going, I just made myself my second cup of coffee. I love coffee and I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, so today is Wednesday. It's generally anti-procrastination day. And that's a day I try and tick off at least one or two things that I've been putting off doing for whatever reason so later on today i have to do some stuff uh, blog maintenance stuff and also getting some posts ready to go live which is one of the things that i kind of tend to put off um a bit and what else oh yeah i have to get the christmas jumpers out actually that's an easy one i can easily do that 
I think I'll do that. Um, three replies. And I have to feed the fish. Let's go feed the fish. Oh, fishies. You ready to eat? Here we are. Go on, eat your food. There we go. Happy fish, happy life, guys. Actually, a more pressing thing is I have to sew the badges onto my daughter's rainbows thingy. Oh, mail's just come. Let's just go see what that is. Oh, never mind. I was excited there. I thought it was my birdest magazine, but that's okay. That's weird. Oh, you didn't realize that there's a cupboard there. That's yeah. where I keep the cookbooks oh. and such. So, yeah, this is a sewing I really don't like doing, and you can tell by how I do some of these. But I have to get them done, and I also have to do them for the scouts. And the beavers and the cubs. Yeah. So, but at least this is something that I've been putting off doing for quite a while. So, one thing ticked off on anti procrastination day. All right. I finished sewing that. And now I have to sit down and do some blog stuff. I tend to do blog stuff over here on my breakfast bar. I have to move all of my notebooks. Moleskine. And the bigger moles guy, and this was before I converted to my light term, which is upstairs. I'll show it to you later, but work must get done now. Right, so it's now saying yogurt. It looks like it's flashing because of the camera, but it actually isn't flashing. Um, so it's finished uh, boiling. And so the boiling, what it does is it kills off all of the pathogens. Okay, and the next step is to let it cool down to 46 degrees uh, Celsius, which is very important because beyond that, you kill off the cultures. Uh, so I'm going to take it out of the Instapot and I'm going to put it in a sink and surround it with some cold water just to get it to cool down faster. So there it is, uh, sitting in some cold water, and that will make it cool down faster. It, this step probably takes about 20 minutes or so. Um, so in about 10 minutes, I'll come and check with my thermometer to see if it's close to 46 degrees. But in the meantime, it's back at work. Nice, right, so it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, I've got my thermometer. And I've sterilized this, by the way, so we want that to be... around the 46 degrees mark and I have overshot <laughs> which is okay um, it's gonna stir a bit more so what I do is I'll just put that put that back onto the instant pot and get it started on the next stage where it will get it up to 46 degrees but you also need to remove the skin. Milk is going to make a skin, whether you like it or not. That is the nature of milk. Okay. Okay, so I've put it back into the instant pot. What matters is that the temperature is below 46 degrees. Okay. Um, I've got my Greek style yogurt. I've got my silicone whisk for mixing. And I've got my tablespoon. And I'm going to use, uh, you only need about two tablespoons to get it started. Okay, so that's my yogurt. Mm, it smells so good. I love natural yogurt. Um, see? And the ingredients on there, there's no added sugar. You don't want any added sugar to it. It's just pure Greek style natural yogurt. Um, and so I just get Look at how creamy that is. I 
I'll just get two tablespoons and mix that in there. And just sort of whisk it in. So it has to have the live cultures. And the instant pot is going to keep it at the steady temperature that it needs to be at in order to incubate. There we go. And we just press uh, yogurt and then adjust. And then I'm going to let it go for eight hours. And then I'm going to eat the rest of this yogurt. So it starts the countdown from zero and it goes up. And that's because um, when you make your own yogurt, you can choose tart you want the yogurt to be so if you if you let it go for longer it gets more sour and more tangy and it's just up to you to decide whether you want it to be more creamy and liquidy or you want it to be more sour and tangy and so the timer shows you how long it goes for for me the sweet spot is between six and eight hours and that's the one that we you know tend to like but you know what's also awesome about this is you can make I can make my own cottage cheese as well, which I have done in the past, and that's pretty awesome. I also just received some fabric from Minerva Crafts for a guest post, but I have to wait until I'm done with my work before I can open this, so I'm delaying my gratification. Because I'm taking a break, uh, I've been working on the blog now for about an hour and a half. It's a bit frustrating, but I thought I had more done, but I ended up working on one blog post. But enough about that. I'm going to open up my Minerva package. And I know it's Minerva because it says um, from Minerva Fabric Signer. So let's see. Separately, I'm pretty impressed with myself for being able to delay my gratification with opening the fabric, but it kind of feels good to be um, unboxing the fabric now when I was feeling a little bit down because I haven't made as much progress as I wanted to, so yay for delayed gratification! <laughs> oh, oh wow. <laughs> Uh, you know how sometimes when you order something and it says it's on a back order and you have to wait five to six weeks before you get it, and then you kind of forget what you ordered. And then you receive something in the post and then you're like, oh yeah, I did order some fabric, but I can't quite remember what it is. And I completely forgotten about this. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Okay. Okay now, ladies. Okay, now that's, this is the wrong side, it looks like. Uh, here we go. Ooh. So it's like an embroidered cotton uh, fabric with an eyelet. It's got double texture going. So you've got the bordery anglesey detail. And then, oh no, it's a print. Oh wow, that's what it is. So that's a print. So, mm, what was I thinking when I ordered this? I have no idea. Uh, okay, uh, also got it in the blue, so I was probably thinking something to do with color, with blocking, I guess. Oh, this is a lovely surprise for me. Okay, it's off to the washing machine with you, let me see, because this looks like it's got potential for shrinkage, and I also... I also need to see how these behave in the wash because that's going to determine what I make with it. If they are divas, it's not going to be something that I would make to wear on a daily basis. If they behave well, it would be something that I would be wearing on a daily basis because I like being able to just chuck my stuff into the washing machine. <sighs> so let's see how this goes. Thank you. 
to shake it out. And this is going to go for 30 degrees. Ah, no, on a 30 degree wash. Um, for a few minutes with fabric softener, and then we'll see how that turns out. I'm doing it on a super quick wash. Um, should I check that for you? So this should be done in 20 minutes now. Fingers crossed. Okay, looking good so far. And did the edge do? Ah, not too bad. Okay, next step is to go into the dryer. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so this has been going for three hours and 57 minutes now. I'm just going to check it and it's like a nice wobbly mess now. Can I get that? See? There's the yogurt coming along. So I'm just going to try this. Mmm, nice and creamy. But it could go for another couple of hours or so. After school snacks. Okay, so the four hour fifty mark now. Ah, that's nice and wobbly. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Tasting good. I reckon another hour or so and it will be ready. Time I'm doing spaghetti bolognese for dinner, and because the instant pot is being used with the yogurt, I sadly have to use my hob to actually do the cooking. Have a holly jolly Christmas and the things you didn't see. I've, I've just been buying them through the blue host thingy. But somebody. Uh, yeah? Oh, your culture is great. Okay, so, um, whilst everybody else is going to have pasta, I'm actually going to have a spiralized courgette. And I love using my spiralizer to make the courgette, so I thought I'd show you how that works. So I've got it all set up already, um, cut the courgette in half, and I've got my little tray thingy. So I'm just going to turn that on, and then look. go look at that so this is courgette spaghetti which i have instead of actually having any pasta and this is very very delicious so i saute my courgette spaghetti in just a little bit of avocado oil and I'll have that with the bolognese whilst everybody else 
of the bolognese with the pasta. The yogurt has been going for 7 hours and 35 minutes now and it is scrum. Look at that. This is a delicious scrummy natural Greek yogurt. We made a gallon of it. It's a lot cheaper than buying it. Okay, so there's my yogurt. And that's going to go into the fridge. So like I said, between 6 and 8 hours is the sweet spot for me. Some people like it to be more sour, more tangy. Um, but you'd be able to use this to make your own cream cheese. Then that is how I also use my Instant Pot to make some good, nutritious, lovely, natural Greek yogurt. I just wanted to show you before I finish off that this has come out of the dryer and it's looking pretty good. This is what it's looking like before it has even been ironed. So I can definitely make this into something that I can wear on a daily basis and not a special type of a dress because it looks like it's good wash and wear. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to call Vlogmas Day 4 an end now. We've just had our dinner and we've cleared up the table. And it's been a pretty chill day. So, tomorrow's going to be more exciting. I'll show you what the yogurt looks like. And we're also going to get the Christmas jumpers out. Bye!